Hello and welcome back. Today I thought we could chat through spring style essentials as I know many of you are based in the northern hemisphere and things will be starting to warm up there. So I wanted to give you a little bit of inspiration and share something of a capsule wardrobe. Now if you are in the southern hemisphere like me I am going to do a companion piece of this video over on my Substack. I'll link that below where I chat through my autumn style essentials. Now today I have partnered with Lily Silk and I'm really thrilled to be working with them again. I've picked out some of my favorite pieces from their spring collection which I'm going to be styling and they really form the basis of these core pieces that I personally tend to lean on in the spring months. And one of the things I really love about Lily Silk is that all of their designs are made using natural fibers and not just any natural fibers, they are premium. They use the highest quality mulberry silk for all of their silk pieces. I've had some of them for many years. This top here actually is one of the older pieces I have from them. It is a lovely silk knit top, but even their cashmere knits are made using grade A Mongolian cashmere and I've noticed that they've since branched out and included merino wool pieces as well and if you come from New Zealand then you will know how fantastic merino wool is. It's a solid staple over there. I do actually have a discount code that I'm going to share with you now but it will be down in the description box below along with links to everything I share but it is JL20 and that will get you 20% off full price items. I think what I liked about this particular selection, this edit of pieces is that they are all really classic and that kind of goes back to the heart of what what Lily Silk really stands for. So let's start with the very first spring essential that I think is worth having in your closet and that is a lightweight short sleeved or sleeveless knit. Now I've got three here and they actually all happen to be from Lily Silk and they are all really special for their own reasons. This is definitely up there as one of my favorites in this entire video. This is their wild silk sleeveless sweater. So this is made from 100% silk but it has been woven and has this absolutely divine cable knit pattern. You can also see that it has got the mock neck turtleneck design as well as the ribbed hem which really gives it shape it is a slim fit uh, and it does have the nice cutaway sleeves as well I feel like this works really beautifully when it's worn with tailored trousers but you can also dress it down with some jeans or go with a little mini skirt throw a knit over your shoulders you could also lay this under other long sleeve thin knits as well then we have this lovely 100% cashmere short sleeve t-shirt and again I really like this because it works well not only for spring but as you transition towards winter as well it's a great kind of piece to have in your wardrobe I did size up in this to a medium as I do quite like these pieces to feel a little bit more relaxed it has this beautiful sleeve detail that kind of just hugs your shoulder in a really lovely way and you can see that you've got the lily silk emblem stitched here near the hemline where there's also that ribbed trim as well this is so light and airy I opted for the camel color but it does come in a couple of other neutral hues too again a good staple for work but you could easily wear this for the weekend or even for a night out. The third knitted top I wanted to share is this beautiful sweetheart neckline top and this is made using mulberry silk. It feels really luxurious, it's quite lightweight, has a really good amount of stretch to it. I like that sweetheart neckline combined with the cap sleeves. I think this looks absolutely stunning again worn with beautiful tailored trousers. You can dial it down with denim, wear it with a really beautiful slip skirt as well. I quite like the drama of pairing this with a maxi length slip skirt. I think that is absolutely beautiful. And again, this does come in a couple of other colors. I've got this on a medium, so I would say it fits a little bit on the smaller side. And the other thing to mention is that this is machine washable. So you can hand wash this and it will come out looking just like new. And I really, really like that. And I think when you are meticulously planning out your wardrobe, it really pays to kind of look at the different necklines and also the different fits. So you can see all three of these knitted tops that I shared all have slightly different design features to them. Then we move on to the long sleeve top and this is really that wonderful moment where you can stop wearing your big chunky oversized sweaters and just wear a long sleeve top to kind of go about your day. So I've got four options here which I feel really run the spectrum. So we'll start with the first one which is your classic printed striped top. I love this because it adds in that very Parisian, very classic element to your styling and I really don't think that you can go wrong with a stripe. This to me tends to work back with everything. Then we have the oversized shirt and this one I've opted for in a blue to kind of share as part of this spring capsule. I quite like the fact that this adds an element of drama and it's unexpected. It often kind of adds this casual element, especially when pairing against more tailored pieces, especially even those more tailored skirts and trousers. It just has this effortless ease to it, which I really like. And 
it doesn't feel precious. Florals for spring, I know, groundbreaking, right? But I think that something like this, where it's a fitted top, almost has a bit of a meshy effect to it with the micro daisy print on it. This is a really quirky, whimsical, fun way to add in that very expected floral print into our spring wardrobe, but in less of an expected style, because typically we'd be wearing florals like this on little mini dresses. Obviously yellow is one of my happy colors, and so for me this is like sunshine in a top. Finally, we have one of the very first pieces I've added to my wardrobe from Lily Silk. This is their oversized black silk blouse and I think this is a nice juxtaposition against that blue oversized shirt that I shared with you earlier because this really does have the sense of refinement to it because it is made from that beautiful mulberry silk. It has this slight sheen to the fabrication and of course being in the black too it just reads a little bit more formal. Moving on to skirts, there are two skirt styles that I think are worth having in your spring wardrobe. The first is a mini or at least something that hits above the knee so we can get our legs out. I like to style these starting with kind of big chunky knits at the beginning of the season and then shifting towards lighter knits, cardigans, t-shirts, etc. as it starts to really warm up. So two styles here, this little grey mini, this one's from Minima Essentials so if you're in the northern hemisphere or you live outside Australia you might not be able to buy this but I'll find something similar. This is in a wool and it almost has a bit of a suiting feel but it's a mini and I quite like that. It feels a little bit YSL inspired in that sense. And then the other one that I have is textural which I love because it kind of draws in on that sense of the winter wardrobe and brings it into spring through the color palette so this is more of a tweed and you definitely can wear tweed year round but I kind of love that meshing of the two elements and again this isn't quite kind of a classic cut it doesn't have any bells and whistles to it and to me I feel like that's really reflective of that quite classic style that I tend to go for. Then the other sort of skirt that I like to have as part of my spring wardrobe is something that's a little bit more dramatic, that sweeps the ground, that has this full length to it and a lot of movement. And honestly, I was so excited when I saw this in the Lily Silk lookbook. This is a beautiful silk maxi skirt and a silk charmeuse. So hopefully you can see here it has the most stunning sheen to the fabric and I really like that this also has pockets which makes it really really practical. It has an invisible side zip too so very very seamless but to me this just has the most stunning movement to it. If you find that pleated skirts just don't really work for you because they kind of tend to really emphasize the waist you may prefer something like this if you want to have that drama in your skirts when you're in the office because I feel like that's a really nice way to showcase some of your personality when you are at work. This actually also layers really really nicely under other dresses if you want to have that dramatic skirt effect worn with a mini dress over the top and I have shared that styling trick before. It's one of my absolute favorites. I mean imagine this with a sleeveless little black mini dress over the top. I just think chef's kiss but so so easy to style really really elegant and definitely again another one of my favorites from this little edit that I've got here. Next spring style staple to mention is the dress and for me I really like again the mini or I like something that is a little bit longer in length nothing really quite in between and this can be a great opportunity here to play around with florals if you want to inject that element of color I have definitely gone very classic with my picks here. So the very first dress I wanted to share is this one here from Dish and you can kind of see it almost has this mod effect to it with the very graphic black and white contrast with the white sort of trim around the straps and then the rest of the dress is just black. This is linen as well so really breathable. Perfect if you want something you can easily layer with knitwear with blazers while it's still a little bit cool and then wear on its own as sort of the hero piece through summer. Similar in style is this dress here from Auntie which I've had for a couple of summers now. I really love the design on the yarn so it's kind of got this embossed pattern all over it which is very subtle but it feels really fun and it's all about the mini length because otherwise it kind of keeps you all covered up. You have this really nice balance in terms of the design. Then one of my favorite summer dresses and definitely one that I would start wearing in the spring. This one here from Cezanne. This is their Pippa dress. It comes in loads of colors. I've got it in the black. The thing that makes Makes this really unique in terms of a t-shirt dress is that it has this tie detail that crosses the body it kind of pinches all the fabric in here at the waist and I feel like it's really flattering and even if I'm bloated I feel incredibly comfortable in this dress because it 
sort of holds everything in. Works very similarly to how I feel when I'm wearing something that is kind of ruched. It does also have the little side slits as well and just really sweet dressed up with some glitzy little heels or alternatively dressed down with a ballerina or some easy summer slides. Next piece we need in our spring wardrobe is some sort of layering piece and this could be a knitted jacket, it could be a blazer, it could be a cardigan. I've got two here, one being from Lily Silk. So this is their little knitted lady jacket. This is made from merino wool and honestly the details on this are something else. Obviously you can wear it worn fully buttoned up and you get that very sort of quite luxury element but you can also wear it open just like a little cardigan jacket which I think is really sweet and the actual cut of it is what makes it feel refined which is what gives it this really elegant air. So this has these brushed gold buttons with the Lily Silk logo embossed on it which are really pretty all the way down the front. I think the detail on this that I especially admire because it looks very technical is this kind of honeycombed effect. The trim that goes around the collar and also down the placket as well and along the cuffs along the hem I think it is really beautiful there are two little faux pockets as well on the bust but this is knitted you could easily layer this up this looks really beautiful when worn with that cable knit turtleneck which I shared earlier because the navy blue is very very similar so you almost have this subtle tonal element if you wear them as a little bit of a set almost like a twin set in a way so that is the first piece so pretty remember you can use my code JL20 for 20% off at Lily Silk the other transitional jacket here I have is a oversized or slightly oversized black blazer this one's from Evelyn I've had it in my wardrobe for it feels like a million years they don't do this exact style anymore it's now made with tensile but I like this because it feels formal but it is a type of style that is easily dressed down with jeans and if you're looking for that oversized jacket and you're petite this is the one that I would recommend, not one from the Frankie shop because that's just going to swallow you up and speak you out. <laughs> Next spring staple I think you need to have in your wardrobe is a great pair of trousers. And again, there are two styles that I think are worth sort of having on a rotation. And the first would be more of a cropped trouser or something that has a tapered fit to it. And I have these ones here. These are from Lily Silk again, and these are made from a premium Italian merino wool. They're incredibly classic in terms of the cut, and you can see they have a really nice flat texture to them. These ones here work really nicely for the office, particularly paired with those knitted tops that I shared at the very start of this video, but they also work really well for the weekend. Throw on some sneakers, a big oversized chunky knit sweater, and you're done. A t-shirt, a blazer also looks really chic, worn like that. I really don't think you can go wrong, and the back is really, really simple. And in the charcoal grey, they really are a great neutral. The other one that I would go for is a fluid draped trouser, something that is cut a little bit wider through the body, and that is full length something that is going to and I keep referring back to this but bring the drama because I love that I think it's a really fun way to sort of communicate through what we are wearing these ones are from sports craft they're kind of a lovely little cotton twill and they're in that lighter color palette that I think we really start to gravitate towards a little bit more as we do head into the warmer seasons denim is sort of one of those year-round staples that I think is worth having in your wardrobe and again as I was talking about before with color palettes as we head into spring I think opting for those lighter wash jeans is a really fun way to sort of signal the start of the new season so I have a really nice light blue faded wash pair of jeans these ones are from Levi's and then I also have this antique white pair from Madewell both of them have a bit more of a wider fit through the leg but a skinny leg jean is also great too really just depends on your personal preference final clothing item before I move on to accessories is some sort of a trench coat or something that's going to kind of take the place of a trench coat depending on your personal style this could be a denim jacket and this is separate to the lightweight jacket that I mentioned earlier you want something that's a little bit more hefty a little bit more robust so I have two styles here and this was really to kind of hit home the fact that you don't need to get a beige trench coat because both of these are green <laughs> so the first one here is super oversized this is really dramatic it's really long this there's a lot of fabric going on here. This one is from Low Classic. It's in this lovely, really interesting petrol green color, which feels unusual in of itself, but it's really the, the style and how kind of oversized that makes it what it is. It makes it feel really special and unique. And then we have the Scott Trench from Cezanne, and this is one of their most iconic pieces. It comes in a few different colors, but I really do think that the green is the most special. Uh, it's, it's really a nice 
cut. This is very classic. This is something you could easily wear for the office and then also wear for the weekend because it is cut a little closer to the body. I would recommend sizing up one so that you can easily fit sweaters and things underneath. I wanted to end the Spring Style Essentials video focused on accessories and we'll begin with shoes. And I feel like for shoes, there's really one type of shoe that I think you need to have on rotation, but it falls into two ends of the spectrum depending on your personal preference. And that is a closed toe shoe. And this is the spectrum here. So we either have the ballet flat, which reads a little bit more feminine, or we have the loafer, which reads a little bit more masculine. Both really classic, timeless options that I don't think that you could go wrong with. And I'll pop some video of some of my favorites on screen. These ballerinas here are from Loaf Randall, but some of my other favorites are from Margot, and I also have my AD Mary Janes. Then these loafers, I mean, does it get more classic than the Gucci loafers? I think not, but if you want something that has a little bit more of a stylistic modern element to it and you have wide feet, then you can't go wrong with Cezanne's Vicky loafers. Finally, bags, and you kind of see there's a little bit of a theme with all of these. One, they're in a lighter color palette, but also they all have some element of texture to them. We have this sweet little basket style tote from Karen Walker, which has the perforated leather. Then we have this lovely little crossbody from Sabin, which has the white woven leather. And then we have this pale yellow bag from Poland, which has this kind of braided effect to it where the leather interlocks. It's a very small detail, but when we are shifting away from those really thick, heavily textural components of our outfits to more flatter fabrics, adding in elements like this is a great way to keep your outfits feeling visually interesting. So that rounds out my spring style essentials. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it useful, and that you got a ton of outfit inspiration from it because it was so much fun putting all of these pieces together and kind of coming up with lots of different outfit combinations, which I hope will inspire you and just give you some different ideas for the months to come. A huge thank you to Lily Silk for working with me as well. Remember my code JL20 will get you 20% off site-wide on full price items and I will be sure to have links to everything that I shared down in the description box below. Thank you so so much for watching, for spending some of your precious time with me. I'm always forever grateful. If you haven't subscribed and you are new here, I would love to see you back and I will see you next week for the brand new video. See you very soon. Bye!